I am really enjoying Bayonetta. Uh, I mean, it's getting kind of difficult, though. But, you know, I'm about to run back through all of the chapters again, just for fun. Uh, as well as to build up a lot of, uh, a lot more halos. Of course, if I just, uh, what, what I've been doing is just beating up the boss uh fighting fighting the very first boss and trying to you know beat him faster and faster and uh if you don't use any items you get a bonus and the the better your trophy is you get a bonus and just for killing the boss you get uh 10,000 anyway uh and there are certain things you can do throughout that give you more so it's actually just a really good way to grind halos but i want to practice some more so i'm just going to run through the entire thing uh, and then go to sleep after this, <laughs> after, after this, and then that, and then, yeah. Uh, what can I use all that shit? Oh, yeah, I've been neglecting doing all this shit. I gotta, I gotta get that. Yeah, beautiful. Okay, um, what are they, what, what's happening over here? Oh, we got, we got new people. We always get new people. I love it. I love it. Oh, yeah. Ethel. I kind of know who Ethel is. Kind of. Not really. Uh, we talked a little bit. Um, Shimalda. That's cool. How you doing? Uh, <laughs> but yeah, man, it's just fucking fun. I just fucking love going around beating the shit out of everything. Getting, like, new weapons and new... Like, I got fucking rocket launchers now. You just strap rocket launchers onto your feet and then just fucking go crazy with them and i can fucking ice skates right now i really like rocket launchers and ice skates and also the the two durga i, I got the second durga so now my you can have two sets of weapons on and you can switch back and forth between them and right now i have one one that's rocket launchers and ice skates and the other one is the two durga um and dual durga is really fun because you know it, it uses combos with both of them i use the uh the blue the blue lightning ones because they're faster on the arms so i like start the combos and then the red fire ones on the feet because that's that's like the the more powerful ones so like uh, the the finisher of the combo is usually with the feet so it just works out really well you know jumping in there beating the shit out, out of everybody stunning them a bit and then launching them with the feet it's fun it's fun and then the the rocket launchers are great with the with the uh the ice skates the ice skates are cool because uh, your movement is a lot faster, and if you hit people with them enough, they'll just turn into giant blocks of ice, and you can hit them while they're in the giant block of ice, dealing dealing damage to them, but they can't move, and like right at the end of it, or even any time during it while they're in the while they're in the ice of, uh, block of ice, eventually they will break out. Hitting them doesn't help uh, break them out, I don't think. I think it's just a timer thing. Uh, but what I like to do is beat them up a bit, and then you can pick up you can pick up the block of ice. Uh, with your magic or whatever. It's not even with your magic, it's with your weave. Uh, cause you got cool hair. Um, I don't know if it's hair, it's, it's magic shit. I don't know, I said magic, but magic's a different thing. Uh, but no, you can pick it up and you can throw it at other people. <laughs> and I, I, I think it'll deal damage to something. Either way, it gets it out of your way. Um, so I like doing that. So I can just fucking freeze them up and then fucking blow the shit out of them with the rocket launcher. Cause you know, you... You, you just smack him. You just smack him straight across the face and then launch a rocket into him. It's great. It's great. And there's one... I forget. It's like a stiletto or something like that. There's one move. There's one move that... Uh, it's one of the bot ones. And it's, like, different with everything. With the sword, it launches you, like, really far. And you can... Uh, if <laughs> Sometimes if I'm having trouble with an enemy, I just switch to sword and just spam that one attack. Because just usually it works a lot better, especially if they're a much slower enemy, because you can really just slam into them a bunch of times with that sword, and then they just die. Um, <laughs> which is which is of course a lot of uh, a lot of fun, but but um, sometimes I like to attack them legitimately. Um, but yeah, the the move that type of move uh, with the with the rocket launcher you actually like you shoot the rockets behind you and you use it to propel yourself way forward even farther forward than the uh than the uh than the sword um but it's uh it's a little bit slower because it's it has uh, it has lag to start but if you can launch yourself into an enemy you're dealing damage to the enemy and then if you hold in the button you switch the rockets around and then you really just launch the rockets straight into them uh very powerful very powerful um i think i i was reading up a bit 
And I think there's some sort of like super game breaking technique that involves the rocket launchers, but I haven't really figured it out. And I didn't really look into it because uh, right now I'm just having fun. I don't really want to, you know, learn all the best strategies and shit. I just want to have fun with it, you know. So, I mean, maybe uh, two Durgas isn't the best thing. And sometimes I know it isn't the best because I'll get my ass handed to me and then I'll just switch the sword and fucking just slam into him a bunch of times and then win. But it is, it's fun, you know? I like to just have fun, beat the shit out of everything. So, Bayonetta, yeah, really fun game. Would recommend to anybody. Anybody, probably. Um, anybody who pl plays good games. Uh, <laughs> just like, I feel like I'm coming to an end of it. But then it's like, there's so much, uh, I know that there's so much, uh, more shit, uh, like, because after you're done with it, you can retry again in hard, and you can, like, I think you can play as a different character, and I think you can get, like, different outfits and shit after, like, there's so much new game plus that I'm probably going to, uh, mess with before I even touch the entire second game. I have so much new game plus after I beat the first one. So this is going to last me a long time, uh, which is bad because there's a lot of shit I need to do because <laughs> I need to get that second channel made because, uh, I mean, there's a bunch of videos we could put up. I just need to, like, create it, and uh, Dave doesn't know what to do with that because he doesn't even have uh, any of the the, uh, the images that we might be fine with. One of them, one of them, I think I know what I'm using, and then the, the, the one that's important, uh, or, well, the fucking... I guess the important one is the profile one, whatever the fuck it's called, uh, the icon maybe. But then, uh, like, I, I kind of already have that set. Maybe, like, I need to find it, but I think I know what I'm doing for that. But then there's the, the, the fucking head, header or whatever the fuck it's called, cover? No, uh, I forget this word and then I remember it. Um, every, every fucking place calls it something different. You know, like you have a little picture and then you have just a big picture behind it just for shits and giggles. Uh, I, I did a lot of hand motions when I did that phrase for no reason. Uh, fuck. Well, whatever. The big picture behind it. We need to make that. And I have an idea of what I want. It's probably just going to be like a phrase. Uh, I mean, in all honesty, it's probably going to be the exact same phrase that's in the uh, description uh, of this the, of the channel of the channel description. Uh, but, you know, like, stylized or something, you know, or just not, or just literally fucking, oh my god, I almost just want it to be white, plain white, with, like, black, aerial black text, uh, then just fucking, uh, what is it, I do what I want, you're not my dad, that's what the, that's the, uh, that's the phrase, uh, <laughs> because the whole thing about the Dillagap is fucking... You know, I'm just fucking around doing whatever the hell I want. Uh, can't tell me what to do. Uh, <laughs> so I do what I want. You're not my dad. That's uh, that's in the description. And I, I want to put that as the thing. Because it's really easy with this channel. Is This channel was started as a VC channel. So I could just have fucking uh, VC shit as the pictures. And I don't have to be creative at all. Uh, but yeah, also probably going to keep the same, uh, outro and all too, just because I really like it, you know? Not because I'm super lazy, I really like it a lot. And I, I have good reason to, it's a nice one, and somebody made the song for me and that was super great. Uh, I've considered adding piano to it, you know, like throwing a bit of piano in there, or maybe doing my own, like, piano cover for the other thing, but it's fucking difficult. <laughs> That's all it is to it. Speaking of skills and things uh i actually fucking i did my first wood carving today uh and i kind of want to do like a thing you know like every day I'll, I'll do something simple uh but today i did what i said i would do at some point i think i may have may have wanted to do curvy but i like <laughs> i already had like a little tiny block of wood but it was just not not really right for curvy i need i need like a square and i have like a thin rectangular one uh, and then I have another one that has a square portion that it was a lot better for Kirby, but one of them is balsa and the other one's base wood and balsa is a lot softer than the other type of wood. So I'm going to practice on the balsa, uh, before I get to the other wood. Um, so Kirby plus Kirby is a bit more of an ambitious project. Uh, but no, I carved a little wooden buddy, a little wooden buddy 2.0. So little wooden buddy, uh, is something I talked about. 
and and I don't even think I did this when I was making the video, but a long time ago, I uh, I went uh, I was just chilling in my room, and I looked up at these uh, these little wooden wooden sticks, long wooden stick things. They were they were for uh, for lining the bottom of a room uh, in between you know the walls and the the walls and the floors. So this this was supposed to go in my room, but somebody forgot to. So they were just there. They weren't actually lining the walls properly, which I, which was cool because I actually had a cord running through the wall, uh, running underneath the wall, I guess. Um, so it was out of the way. So I liked that it wasn't covered off. But I had these things, and I was just like, I was just looking at the shape, and I was like, I can do something with that. So I took it, and I uh, I wrote, I made some plans up before I did anything, and I said, I can take this shape. I could take four of them, make a torso, and then another four, make some arms, and put a little head all of this out of this one weird shape because it was weird. It was it was like two flat ends and then like one long curved end, but it was. It's how do you how do you describe it? Here, I'll draw it. Um, boop, 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 wait, do I not have a? I don't have a, what the fuck happened to my cursor? Not cursor. Shit, I can't draw it. My bad. Um. But no, it was like a like an L kind of like if you were to take. If you were to take an L, and you were to take the two ends of it, and you were to draw a curved line between them, uh, then, then, yeah. <laughs> that's, that's what it is, except it wasn't, I guess, if you were, if you were to trap the shape within a rectangle before drawing the curved line, but still have a circular, po how do you, mm, I don't know. It was a weird shape, so I cut it up into pieces, and I made myself a little wooden buddy. I took the little, little took the parts, and I hot glued them all together. And I was like, "Fuck yeah!" And I had him sitting around for a while, and his head fell off. Uh, and, and at one point, I had actually glued his head to a screw, and then used a screw so that his head swiveled now. And then I still lost his head. Um, so he's he's headless. And uh, when I went around to making the second one. Little Wood Buddy 2.0. Now I uh, have this have this little block of balsa, and I'm looking at the shape of it, and I'm like, this shape works perfectly for the body and not the head, because I had already cut out a piece, just because I felt like it, because because I had this uh, little tiny saw in the kit, and I was like, I want to do this. Let's just cut out a tiny block of wood with this little tiny saw because it's adorable. Uh, so I did that. That's the first thing I ever did with the, with all the wood and, the, and all the knives and things. I took the tiny saw and I cut out a little little block. But this little block turned out to be perfect for the body, excluding the head. So I just made another Little Wooden Buddy 2.0 and still headless. Uh, and just full of mistakes, too. Not, uh, not perfect, but I liked it. I liked it a lot. Um, I think it turned out really well. Uh, I got... I got a little bit of the estimates wrong and I made the right side or I made the well I made the right side first and then it turned out you know like the right side was was uh just a little bit too big so the left side was a little like had to be smaller so like I I shortened the right side to match the left side and the arms the arms are the part I like the least cuz the arms kind of feel like they're too small uh but in general I captured the shape that I was going for and it looks good. There are some random mistakes where I cut where I shouldn't have, but I like what I did. And just like, I was right, you know? I was right about like, like what I, what I had mentioned before in that I can understand carving a lot better than I can understand drawing. Because, because when I think about it, when I'm thinking of any sort of like, drawing especially like a person or anything i i visualize things in 3d space so i can't understand how to turn this 3d space into a 2d representation but if i can take something that exists in 3d space and then actually manipulate that space to represent it that works a lot better for me uh i just had i just had a fucking blast uh carving that shit um and you know, as I said, it didn't turn out perfect, but it turned out really good for for like my first time doing that kind of thing. Um, and I don't know what kind of project I want to do next with it, but I I I had a lot of fun just sitting there, just just fucking took maybe like an hour, hour and a half. Um, I don't even remember. I think I put on some music and I just fucking let the time fly. I just 
just took out the knife and just went to town, you know? And, like, I have a fucking uh, a Dremel kit, too. So I can I can really go crazy with it if I want. The Dremel, uh, Dremel just being like a... It'll, it'll spin and it'll shape and it'll, it'll go crazy. Uh, I wanted to start with the knife, though. Start with something simple and uh, really get down to figuring out how shapes work before I start with the Dremel because the Dremel will take things away much much faster than the knife. The knife is short, short, sweet, uh, fast, like, not fast, what am I saying? Just tiny, tiny motion, tiny motions. Just take a little bit off at a time, you know? Uh, and, and there was, like, I never, I don't think I ever took off too much, but there were times when I, when I, like, uh, but the, the, the few mistakes that are in there uh, are fucking, um, are like line, like cut lines that extended too far, you know? Because if I knew that a part would get cut off or I knew where a part would start, I would, I would dig into it a bit with the line so that I could, uh, work at it. And, and at one point I just went a little too far and now there's just a, a just a gash in his leg. Uh, and I feel bad for him, but otherwise, I don't know. I think it looks pretty good. Um, it's crazy how fucking soft it is though. Balsa. Balsa's crazy fucking soft. Um, but you know, it's fucking... By no means is it perfect. But I think it's good. I think it, it totally captures the original essence as well. Because it fucking... Um, it has like everything. Uh, almost. Like the 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 legs. The legs and the, uh, the arms are exactly the same shape. Except the legs are a bit smaller. Or maybe they're not in this in this rendition. Uh, cause it's a little different. It's not exactly to scale. It's just, I just, uh, took the, uh, took the original shape. And, uh, I went for it. The body, the body, while originally being made up of four of the segments, is clearly not. Um, I like how I did the curve on it, though. The curve works a little bit. Uh, I think I might want to go at it again a bit on uh on a particular portion uh around the back left maybe doesn't have too much or doesn't have enough curve now that i'm looking at it yeah i think the left of his back doesn't have enough curve um it just doesn't match the other side as well i just i don't like the left side though i don't like the left side just because it's like i said it got i, it, I didn't have enough room to actually do what i needed to do to make it match the right side, uh, so the arm is just kind of just a little bit thinner than the other one, uh, and I actually had to thin down the right arm to make it look a little bit better. Uh, I don't, I don't think I'm going to though. I don't think I'm gonna, I don't think I'm gonna mess with it, because yeah, I finished it and I think it's done. I might go back to it eventually, one day. Maybe I'll make real measurements. Maybe I'll give him a head again. Uh, I don't know. Maybe I'll fucking. Uh, Maybe I'll build him in segments. Maybe I'll build him in segments that can uh, move, move them, uh, move independently. You know, like he can have arms that actually swivel, as well as uh, like a head that's that turns. And I don't know about the legs though, because you know he's got to have like sturdy, sturdy legs. But oh, maybe, maybe I build a fucking little wooden buddy that, that uh, with with real action motion, real. Uh, no, because real, realistic action would mean joints. And I would really just point the, put the joints in the shoulders and like the 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 crotch or groin area. Um, I don't even I don't even understand how I would put or how I would construct anything otherwise. Maybe next I'll join. Holy fuck! That'd be that'd be something cool to make. Make joints, make joints, and uh, huh. Mm, I think tomorrow, I think tomorrow I'm going to build a leg. Tomorrow I'm going to build, it's not going to be a very pretty leg. Uh, but I'm going to, I'm going to carve little pieces. And I'm going to build a, uh, a leg. Just with a joint. I think it's just going to be like a peg and hole joint. Uh, with just like a lot of friction to hold it in place. Because like, I mean, like it'll, it'll pop out because... The only way for me to really lock it in place would be to cut a hole the exact same width, like, all the way through. Like, you'd have, you'd have an intersecting sort of uh, place 
where it would be one on top of another on top of another from the original part and then a hole going all the way through and then a bar uh and i guess that could work a lot better i don't know maybe i'll think about that but that's a lot more difficult than just having two little slabs one with a one with a peg and one with a hole and then just making sure you know the peg and the hole are just very very close in size Therefore, when they when they go inside of each other, they uh, they lock in place, and that you know that'll be a little difficult, but that's uh, that's a good step towards uh, making wooden toys or something, because wooden toys wooden toys could be fun if I start making wooden toys, uh, you know, for the kitties, um, little, little nephews nephews, so far. Uh, when did I start this episode? I don't remember. It's fucking... <laughs> uh... Maybe, maybe like a half hour ago? Hmm. Hmm. Drinking honey water because I had to do some bit of shield today. I didn't do very much though. Uh... Because cause fucking... It, it was late. It's late now. That was like five minutes ago that I was doing shield. Except more than that, because five minutes ago I was doing this. It was, it's all there, you know, just recording. Ah. Uh, yep. <laughs> so, if you'll remember, uh, I, I started looking for someone to advertise the channel for me uh, a while back. And I'm still, you know, I'm still using that website. I got uh, the, the, the uh, frequency of uh potential people in quotes and things slow down a bit but i got one today and he seemed pretty fucking cool you know uh he was like like a little bit open more open to the idea of you know um just ha uh, paying on on uh on cut instead of uh actual fucking uh salary uh, just because he said, he said he understood my situation and things like that, which is like super awesome. Uh, so he said, he said he might, you know, take a look into, into all the YouTube or into the channel and, uh, see if the, you know, if there's potential or shit like that. And it, if he just fucking watches this video first, it's like, oh, it's very <laughs> you know, fucking, it's just kind of what happens when you record every day. Uh, you'll have good days and you'll have bad days. I think no matter what, it's always me. <laughs> so it's always my voice and it's always, uh, it's always me talking. So you, you'll always have something to listen to there. It's, uh, that's my voice. Well, I do say, I say it's always me, but fucking like two days ago or whatever, uh, we had fucking other people on the show. It just took over the whole fucking thing because I was so tired. <laughs> but hey, you know, if you were there for the three hour stream, you got you got plenty of me. Um, I mean, yeah, streaming. I don't know when, when I'm streaming next. Uh, I want to do an earlier stream just so that I can, uh, you know, make sure uh, I get everybody. Because I know like people have different time zones and things. So I want to do a much earlier stream. I don't know what, though. Uh, there's not much me reason for me to play any more of this. Maybe some more Citus. I should play more Citus. I think I think more Citus. Maybe not tomorrow. Maybe eventually. Tomorrow. Tomorrow should be uh, setting up that third channel. I don't know about completely releasing it then, but hopefully I can set some things up. Um, unless tomorrow I just play more Bayonetta all day. It's also also a possibility. Very very large possibility. Uh, <laughs> well, tomorrow I should record more shield because I got very few done. Uh, I think I still have like five days or whatever left in Kumo because I always record that one in very large amounts. Uh, it's like <laughs> Kumo, Kumo is so like, I fucking love it so much, but like I record, I record so many of them when I record them that it's annoying that like after I do 12, 
I realized that I won't have to read this until another another 12 days. So I just have to wait for more things to happen. And it's always awesome things that are happening. Like I just caught a glimpse of the next chapter that I'm reading. And because the, the translator leaves little notes at the top. And sometimes it's like, it's like, uh, you know, he's, he's telling you about what happens in the chapter. Uh, but like not not like spoiling or anything well a little spoilery actually sometimes it's a little annoying when he's like oh yeah looks like this thing's gonna happen uh i'm just like god damn it now i really want to read it uh cause it's a cool thing it's a cool thing that's gonna happen oh shit oh i'm sorry that's been a fool for a while hasn't it konako a cat or whatever ain't it it's either cat or girl i always forget uh <laughs> where am i going logging time is ending scared of not skizark i gotta s I should switch Skizark back and do something with that. Because uh, right now, usually Skizark would be on my... Um, Skizark is my account. That's why it's still there. Skizark is my secondary account. Uh, it's only level 38. But uh, I haven't used it because the app that I was using to, to play with Skizark, I'm now using to play with Sonata's account. So I just kind of don't have access to Skizark anymore. Uh, so that's... Uh, you know, <laughs> let's, let's just keep going a little bit. Let's clear up some more space just because I don't use this account as often. If I want, if I get like a bunch of comment requests, I want to make sure I uh, can get more of them. So, you know, gotta let everybody in. Uh, but that's uh, me running out of battle points is probably a good sign that this episode is long enough. So take care of yourself.